Please welcome to present our final award of the evening, Danielle Carmanos. When Masi Elena Jad speaks, something inside me shifts. I lean in and I follow closely because I know change is coming. In her, I hear strength and dedication, charm and compassion. I hear her heartbreak for her native Iran, for the people and the place she loves so deeply. But more than anything, I hear the voice of change and the knocking of a brighter future at our door. Masi's voice is raw and honest, sometimes cracking as she contains rage or holds back tears, but always anchored by her resolve and drive to never stop being a truth teller and a change maker. Hers is the voice that will break barriers and save lives. And this is why the entire world has taken notice. Ask Masi about her courage, and instead she speaks about other women who are making bold statements and sharing their stories, from celebrities cutting locks of hair, to the women of Iran daring to feel the indescribable rush of purpose and possibility. Masi is creating the space for courageous hope, She's defying the law, not accepting a life that's good enough or survivable, isn't just uncomfortable, it's terrifying. The regime pushed Masi out of Iran to minimize her impact, assuming she would give up or move on. They were wrong. She is a force of nature whose impact is already undeniable. The regime looked at Masi and saw a dissident running away. Not a mother, daughter, and friend, fueled by intellect, by love, by passion, prepared to weather great sacrifice. Launching My Self Stealthy Freedom in 2014, Masi created a platform for Iranian women to share their thoughts, stories, and nightmares a community of connection and validation, a space to dare to dream. For the first time, they knew for certain they were not alone. While Masi gives voice to the women and girls of Iran, the regime threatens her life and smears her reputation. They believe fear equals silence and that their power is unstoppable. But bullies rarely see it coming when the bullied fight back. In the wake of Masa Amini's death at the hands of morality police for failing to fully cover her hair, women are spilling into the streets of Iran in historic protest. At times, it sounds like jubilation. At others, like war. Hundreds of civilians have been killed. But still, protests continue. In May of 1941, thousands of Nazis descended on the Greek island of Crete. With most men away at war, they expected an easy victory. They were wrong. Underestimated at first, the women of Crete fought ferociously. They showed the Nazis the power of Ohi, and then they showed them the door. Masti's campaign is empowering the women of Iran to alter the balance of fear in their country. Rather than run away, they link arms, they stand strong, and send some fear back where it came from. Now, teenage girls are taking to the streets in protest. And if anyone here knows a strong-willed teenage girl, and then imagines an army of motivated teenage girls, well, there's probably not a more unstoppable force in the world. Difficult likes to masquerade as impossible. The women of Crete should have been decimated by the invading Nazis they repelled. 
Rather than accept impossible at face value, they banded together and acted as one. They created possibility. Iran's oppressive regime and the infrastructure that supports it is entrenched. And yet, tonight, all across Iran, women prepare for the seventh consecutive week of protests. They have taken up residence in the line of fire. The morality police and their onslaught of injury and death against nonviolent protesters are met only with the spirit of Ohi, sung louder and louder as one chorus. Masi left Iran in 2009 on assignment, and she is still writing a story. But this one has co-authors, and they number in the millions. On the day when its last words are written victoriously, too many co-authors will be celebrated only in memory. Their supreme commitment, a reminder of an appropriate use of the word. Whether that day comes now or later, rain or shine, one thing is certain, it will be a very good hair day. As long as the regime is in power, it will continue to target Masi Alinajad because she built a massive community of supporters, not by telling them to follow her, but by celebrating them. The only antidote to the regime's fear is Masi's silence, which she doesn't frighten, which doesn't frighten her at all, because she's out for theirs too. It is my distinct honor to introduce this video on the Ohi Courage Award recipient, Masi Alina Jad. <laughs> 